Welcome back to the Jim Dempsey Fundraising Channel. Hi, I'm Jim Dempsey, your guide in the world of nonprofit success. Today, we're delving into a topic that can significantly impact your organization's financial health, asset giving strategies to employ at year end. As a nonprofit leader, you understand the importance of diversifying your funding sources. Beyond traditional gifts, leveraging assets can be a game changer. So grab your notepads because I'm about to share the top five strategies that can make a real difference for your organization as the year draws to a close. Recent statistics show that most people have three to five times their annual income in assets, but generally people give out of their income, not their assets. Today we're going to address the topic of increasing asset giving at year end. There's five strategies to employ. They are as follows. Strategy number one giving of stock and securities. One powerful way to boost your nonprofit's resources is by encouraging stock and security donations. Many donors might not realize that giving appreciated stock can provide significant tax advantages. By gifting stocks directly can avoid capital gains tax and potentially receive a deduction for the full market value of the asset. As a nonprofit leader, it's crucial to educate your donors about this option. Make the process seamless by partnering with a brokerage firm experienced in charitable giving. Clear communication and guidance are key to ensuring your donors understand the impact of their stock gift. Strategy number two, giving of real estate. Real estate gifts are another valuable avenue to explore. Our partners or donors might own property that they no longer need or want. Encourage them to consider gifting real estate to your organization. This could be residential, commercial, or undeveloped land. The process involves a thorough appraisal, legal work, and potentially environmental assessments. While it's a more complex process than a typical gift or donation, the gifts can be substantial. Once the property is sold, your organization receives the proceeds, which can fund your initiative significantly. Remember, Transparent communication and professional assistance are essential to navigate this process successfully. Strategy number three, planned giving and bequests. Planned giving and bequests are long-term strategies that can secure your organization's future. Encourage your partners to include your nonprofit in their wills or estates. This thoughtful gesture allows them to leave a legacy while providing essential resources to your cause. Building relationships with your donors or partners and discussing their long-term intentions can lead to these substantial gifts. Be transparent about how their planned giving will be utilized and offer options such as endowments or specific program funding. Providing sample bequest language and working closely with legal professionals experienced in nonprofit law can facilitate this process. Strategy number four, in-kind gifts. In-kind gifts such as goods or services can be incredibly impactful. Consider partnering with local businesses or individuals who can donate goods relevant to your organization's mission. For example, 
If you're a nonprofit focusing on education, receiving a donation of books or school supplies can significantly benefit your programs. Similarly, services like legal advice, marketing, or IT support, if donated, can save your organization substantial costs. Acknowledge these donors publicly, showcasing their generosity and the impact their in-kind donations make on your initiatives. Strategy number five, establishing and giving to donor-advised funds. Donor-advised funds, or DAFs, are a popular way for individuals to manage their charitable giving. Encourage your partners to consider creating a DAF if they haven't already. DAFs allow donors to make a charitable gift, receive an immediate tax benefit, and then recommend grants from the fund over time. Cultivate relationship with DAF holders, providing them with compelling reasons to recommend grants to your organization. Show them the impact their grants can make, ensuring they feel connected to the projects they're supporting. Utilize social media, newsletters, and personalized communication to keep DAF donors engaged and informed about your organization's work. And there you have it, the top five asset giving strategies to employ at year end if you're a nonprofit leader. By diversifying your funding sources through these avenues, you not only enhance your organization's financial stability, but also create a strong foundation for future growth. Remember, clear communication, transparency, and genuine appreciation for your donor's generosity are the keys to success. If you found this information valuable, please consider sharing this video with your fellow nonprofit leaders. Together, let's empower the nonprofit sector and create lasting change. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, let me know by giving it a thumbs up and leave a comment below if there were things that you especially liked or if there are topics you'd like to address. Be sure to comment in the comment section below because that gets the video out to everyone and let this community of life changers know that you're a part of making a difference in our world if you wish to watch future videos on this channel hit the subscribe button and click the bell to be notified immediately of the release of the next video if you wish to follow me on instagram go to at jim w dempsey or if you have questions, go to fundraisingmasterminds.net forward slash Jim and Java. If you wish to be part of a community of like-minded leaders, join our Life Changers group on Facebook. If you want to know what to do and what to say on an appointment with a major donor, watch this video and take your development efforts to the next level. As always, I wish you the best as you strive to become fully funded. Thanks a lot. Have a great new year and see you in the next video.